Hello and welcome back to my channel, The Crafty Bee. If this is your first time here on this channel, you are welcome. Please consider subscribing to my channel and turn on your notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful, trendy, stretched petal design you see on the screen. So if this is what you like to learn, please stay tuned to the end of this video. So I'm using this doll face satin fabric for the petals and I'll be embellishing it with these stones. Hope you can see it. And also I have with me my hemming gum. So as you can see, we have different types of hemming gum. We have the one that is in bias like this, as you can see. So this is the fabric one that I bought it online. They cut it in yards. This is it. You see, it's also a hemming gun, but it's in a broad form, you see. And I also have with me here my scissors, my measuring tape, and my hard interfacing. You see, it has some shining in front here. That's where the glue is to gum on the fabric. And lastly, I have my pattern paper to show you how I'm going to cut the petals. And these petals, you can use it to design any part of your garment. And it's very nice, very beautiful on your garment. You can use any fabric of your choice. So this is my pattern paper. I want to draw the design. You can draw any design you want, but I'm going to draw something like a flower design. I'm just going to divide this pattern into two like so with my ruler. So I'm going to find the midpoint of this line. You can use your free hand to draw this pattern. It's not yet necessary you use measurement like this. But for the sake of beginners, I want to show you how I'm going to draw my flower. So in the center, towards the left and towards the right, I'll be marking one and a half inch here and one and a half inch here. That means I'm taking three as the wideness of the flower. I'm going to draw a straight line in the middle. So I'm going to take the length of six inches, but together with the sewing, I make it six and a half inches. That is from the center part 3.2 and then 3.2 towards the down, making six and a half. So now I'm going to use my free hand to trace from here towards the center. And then I'm going to trace it again. There should not be any sharp edge. So this is the design I'm going to make use of. So I'll cut it out now. So guys, this is my design. I just cut out two pieces. And this is my design. So I put it aside. So the next thing to do is to get the fabric I'm going to use. So as I've already said, I'm using this doll face satin for the main petal and also for the lining, I'm using the same fabric. So I've cut down these two pieces, which I think it will be enough for the petals. So as you can see, this is the wrong side. This is the full side. So one is going to be for the lining and then one is going to be for the main petal. So what I'm going to do now, I'm taking it to my ironing board. I am interfacing on the main design, but on the lining, I'm not going to iron interfacing on it. Let me go over to my ironing board, iron the interfacing and come back and show you how to cut the design. So people, I'm done ironing the interfacing. So as you can see, I don't too much like ironing interfacing on my satin. You see how it looks? So I'll be using this part for the lining and then the one with that interfacing for the main fabric. The next thing I'm going to do now is to cut the patterns out. By doing that, I'll be adding half an inch all around this petal for the sewing allowance. I hold it with my pin, then I'll add half an inch all around it. So the next thing to do is to cut it out. You can cut as many pieces as you wish. So guys, this is it. So I'll be cutting out maybe eight pieces or seven pieces. 
depending on how much this fabric can take. So I will cut the other pieces off camera and come and show you. So guys, I'm done cutting the petals. So I went ahead and cut the, the main fabric for the petals. Because I'm using the interfacing ones for the lining. And then I cut for each of the petals. So what I'm going to do next is to place the lining on the main petal and then pin it. So I'm going to take it to my machine and stitch it with half an inch all around the petal, like so. So I'll be doing that to all the petals. Then I'll come back and show you how to flip it out and iron it. Now I'm done stitching all the eight petals, as you can see, with the lining. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to take one, then cut off the excess. I will be notching around the petal, as you can see now. So the next thing I'm going to do is to flip it inside out. So to do that, I will open the center of the lining because I'm using the stiffing part as the lining. So you open it a bit at the center of the lining. You don't cut it too big. I'm going to turn it inside out from here. It's a little bit difficult to turn it inside out. So you just patient and do it slowly. Make sure that the pointed parts are out nicely. I'm going to use this metal to bring out the pointed edge. So guys, you see how our petal came out nicely? You see what I'm using as the booster, very neat and very nice. You see? So the next thing I'm going to do is to flip all out of camera, just to limit our time. So I'll go and do just that and come and show you. So guys, I'm done turning all the petals and I went ahead and ironed them neatly, as you can see. So you see how neat it looks after ironing it. So the next thing to do is to close the opening neatly. And by doing that, I'll be using my hemming gun. So I'll cut piece and then place it inside the opening where I turn the petals from. I'll place it inside like this. You can use this one, but as I said already, I'm using this yardage one. So you place it inside like this. Then I'll use my hot iron to close it, to iron the hanging gun inside neatly to close the opening edge. So let me do it right now for you guys to see. I'm placing the piece of fabric on top like this. And I'm going to iron it. And I'll add a little more because I want it to close completely. I iron it back. So now it's time for embellishment. I'm using these rice stones to embellish the petals. You can use any embellishment. You can use pearls, you can use beads, and also I have some here that you can use, depending on how you want to decorate it. So I've already fixed the rhinestones on the transfer paper. If you want to know how to place your rhinestone on the transfer paper before ironing it on your clothes leave a comment down for me to make a video on that you see this is the transfer paper with the plastic so you arrange your rhinestones on the transfer paper then after you cover it with this plastic 
because the plastic have glue so you cover it and this plastic you can iron on but because it's white fabric that i'm using i don't want to iron it directly i want to place a fabric on top See, you place it like this then i'm going to place my fabric on top if it doesn't stick wet, well, you re-iron it again. You can add more if you want it to full. So guys, I'm done embellishing all the petals. See how beautiful it's looking, isn't it? So the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to take each petal and then hold a small dot at the back. I'll just stitch a small dot at the back to give it that better shape. You see how it will look very beautiful. So I'm bringing my machine to show you how I'm going to do it. So you take your petal and then fold it, the thumb part. You fold it in half like so. And then hold a little dot to the end here. Let me do it for you to see. See how beautiful it looks. It have that leaf shape. So I'm going to go ahead and finish all the petals and come and show you how I'm going to fix it on the clothes. It's just an illustration, but I'll show you how I'm going to fix it. So guys, I'm done with the petals. I have this top here. I'm just going to show you how I'll fix it just for illustration purpose. You can design it anyhow you want, depending on your preference. I'm going to place it like this. As you are placing it, you can use needle and thread to tack it, to hold it. But in this case, I'm not going to attach it to this dress. I'm just going to pin it on it for illustration. But if you are going to attach it to your dress, your top, you see this line that I stitch where the dart is in the center line, you just use your machine to hold it down. Then you go to the second one, you hold it down. Then you go to the third one, you hold it down. I'm going to fix it like this. You can design it any style you want. So I'm going to fix it and then put it on my mannequin for you to see how beautiful it looks. So if you've watched up to this time and you find my tutorial helpful, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, share my videos, and also if you have any question or any tutorial you want me to work on, don't hesitate to leave comment down below for me. I'm ever ready to answer you anytime. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.